Hello, I'm Diane Richard. Stay tuned for this presentation on the Veterans Channel. They notified us that we lost Matt and uh, there was an incident with the helicopter he was flying. Uh, not a lot of detail at that point, but uh, uh, at a later time we found out that the, uh, the helicopter actually fell apart uh, 2,000 feet in the sky, came to the ground and exploded. And uh, it was a mechanical error or mechanical a malfunction and uh, there's been a lot of investigation since then into the reasons why there is that malfunction and they've, they've pretty much discovered what their problem is and uh, we haven't heard of any uh, extreme issues like uh, the one Matt incurred uh, to this point. We went, we went to a lot of extreme measures to try to get, so it wouldn't happen again because Matt was, Matt was killed by G-force of, I mean, it was ex, ex, very extreme G-force in midair before, you know, when the helicopter copter came apart. So we, we've even been to the Pentagon and spent time there and they had stopped production of the Apache till it was fixed. They made the Secretary of the Army and um, uh, I can't remember who the other guy, the, um, the Conville, what was his position? Anyway, they made sure that, they wanted to make sure the Apache was safe to fly. So they even stopped production with Boeing for a while because of it. But there was, had been other ones before that were similar, not exactly the same, but similar. But that was, that was so, catastrophic that, you know, they had to do something. I can't. Yeah, there's a, it's called a lead lag link pin and uh, the, it goes down through the rotor to connect it to the main rotor system and it just disintegrated in the middle, fused up and snapped and away the, uh, the rotor went, which started that spin, like Diane was saying, the, uh, the G-force from that spin, uh, Matt and his co-pilot only lasted a few seconds. If that. They said it was instantaneous. So it's... Yeah, I mean, uh, they didn't even know that it occurred at all. I mean, it was just so fast that they had no idea. Uh, when we did go, the Pentagon was just, what will it be, two years? I think it's two years ago. It'll be two years this December we went to the Pentagon. General McConville, who we met with, uh, was an Apache pilot. And uh, he has two sons and a daughter, pilots. And uh, he told us his wife looked at him and said, you make these things safe. And like Diane said, they stopped delivery and they have weekly meetings with Boeing now on on their equipment and uh, just updates on everything they're doing to prevent a lead lag link failure again. We lived in Ohio at the time and he joined the reserves um, and then he he went to basic AT and he come home and then he, was, he started at IUP in Indiana and so then he transferred to the Pennsylvania National Guard. And he, um, it actually, it was, it was at, here at Johnstown. And, the, well, no, first it was in Indiana. And then he, he said he was going, going to, he wanted to fly Apaches. So he was in the ROTC program in IUP. And then he decided he was, he wanted to be a warrant officer because he said he could fly more. He didn't want, if he was started out as a lieutenant, he said, I'll never get to fly enough, see, because I want to fly. So he became, a, he came transferred over here to the aviation, and then he waited till he got walk school, he became a warrant, and then flight school, so. And it was nine, September of 97 is when he first went into basic training, mm -hmm. so. 
He spent about 16 years, 16 years. total. I don't know what got him started. He had friends that joined, his brother, he had, our oldest son, Jeff, was an Army Ranger. I don't, I think that might have got him going, got it started more, but um, the flying part, I don't. I think that was started at IUP, I really do. Because he had friends, to other friends that, you know, that were flying, and I think that's what started for that part. I think shock blocks your memory a lot. I don't remember when we first met Denise, but um, it wasn't that long afterwards that we were, you know, after that happened to Matt, that we were associated with him, with her. Well, I guess one thing we, we didn't interject is uh, Matt originally was, was stationed here and uh, eventually became an instructor pilot at Fort Indian Town Gap. That's where he was stationed uh, at the time he was deployed to Afghanistan. He had a lot of great moments. He was a good athlete, you know, uh, baseball, football. I've said different times, I think he could have played Division One football. He was a bit bigger than me. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, good running back, good defensive back. And, uh, and then just at some point, sports just didn't matter to him anymore from that competitive level. That's when he got into the military and, you know, and uh, uh, when you see things like warrant officer, flight school, and uh, I can remember one of his classmates down at uh, Fort Rucker, he said, we were going in for a final. He said, everybody was just pulling their hair out, what hair they had, and he said, Matt walks in that morning for the test and says, guys, I got this. And you know, you just, you light up. It's just, nobody ever had a bad thing to say about him. But. He loved to fly, I can tell you that. He loved it. We used to live down towards Monroeville and he would fly over the house and zoom, buzz us there when he was in Johnstown. When he went to Harrisburg, it was kind of difficult. He didn't get to do that anymore. But. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Well, there was a small airport there at Monroeville. We didn't live far from Monroeville. So he was able to alter the flight plan a little bit, fly over the house, uh, stand the Apache on its tail, that kind of stuff. When he flew over for a Steeler game, it's like you can see it was, it was before the game ever, I believe. And you can see the stadium. There's no one in there, but you can see it. But it's like a close-up of his. And uh, of him in the helicopter, and then when he did uh, the pirates, it's like three of them, and you, you know it's just a view of the stadium, and you can see them coming across. It's they're, they're pretty nice. He he was proud of those moments.